Day nine in the books, 49ers training camp as the plane flies over. I will say, out of all the training camp days, this was probably the least intense out of them all. You can tell these boys are ready for training camp to be over and uh, get ready for hitting someone else. So the Raiders, uh, they'll go to a joint practice with the Raiders next week and preseason game against the Raiders. And you could tell, you could feel it. The, the intensity was at its lowest point for sure um, on the day. Uh, no Brock Purdy today. Brock Purdy had a scheduled rest day, which meant you got Trey Lance, Sam Darnold, and Brandon Allen, and a whole lot of them. You had uh, Kyle Shanahan with a little flipperoo. He had uh, Trey Lance line up in like kind of the install period with the first team. But the guy who came out first for the first initial team period was Sam Darnold. Uh, but again, they, they got pretty much equal reps. They, uh, they rotated in and out. Uh, Sam and Trey, that is with the ones. Um, before we get into the quarterback stuff, uh, we did have some one-on-ones. Uh, CMC, absolutely unguardable. Um, him and Fred Warner have been going at it in one-on-ones, and CMC comes away with a W pretty much every time. Uh, Ronald A. Watt, uh, the undrafted free agent running back, had a phenomenal over-the-shoulder catch. Um, in one-on-ones, Marcelino McCrary ball was tight in coverage, and um, I think it was Brandon Allen dropped it kind of over the left shoulder. Awat brought it in. It was a really nice catch. Uh, one of the nicer plays of the 1v1 period. Um, you had some wins by Jawan. You had some wins by Ronnie Bell. DBs had some wins, of course. Um, you had Jonathan Feliciano starting at left guard today with Aaron Banks not being available with the concussion. What else do we get? Trent Williams practice today. And um, one of uh, Drake Jackson had a really good rep against Colton McKivitz. It This was a situational uh, period where, uh, what, what, what was it? Colton McKivitz versus Drake Jackson. They were on the one yard line coming out of the end zone. And Drake got a really good jump on the ball, beat Colton McKivitz to the edge. He would have had a safety on Trey Lance. Um, so Drake Jackson, I mean, Drake, da Drake Jackson definitely struggles with Trent Williams. Um, but Colton McKivitz and Drake Jackson have been having really good battles all throughout training camp. Um, it's been pretty fun to watch with Drake Jackson's development, how he's come along. I'm um, trying to think what other stuff we got before we really do a deep dive into the quarterbacks. Um, I will say with the quarterbacks, definitely wasn't the best day for the group. I would say uh, Trey Lance, Sam Darnold definitely cooled down. Um, they had been having pretty consistently good practices. Uh, these last couple days and this was definitely not one of their better ones i would say for both um however trey lance did was a part of the play of the day it was a absolute circus catch from willie sneed corner left pylon corner front left pylon of the end zone i've seen it reported as 25 yards 30 35 somewhere in that range um trey lance put it up uh, what made it such a phenomenal catch was you had Samuel Womack in tight, tight coverage. And also you had, uh, you had um, Willie Sneed have to wrap around Womack and somehow come around with like one hand and catch it. Um, it, was, it was absolutely a, a super, super dope catch. Um, uh, definitely like a hard, hard uh, spot for the wide receiver to catch it. So that's why it was it was such a good one. Um, but uh, overall, again, like I said, the uh, the quarterbacks definitely didn't have the best day. Yeah, go over there as uh, my little one tries to go and get an autograph. Um, Sam Darnold missed on some deep throws. I think he had two deep throws that were missed. 
Uh, Trey Lance had a couple misses on deep throws. He overthrew one to Debo Samuel and then underthrew one to Jawan Jennings. Um, a lot of the completions to today were either screens, dump offs, things like that. Um, like, like I said, uh, if you've been following along with the training camp practices and everything that's been going on, it's definite, it definitely was one of the uh, lesser performances, I would say, by the quarterbacks. I mean, Brandon Allen had one of the throws of the day, which uh, was a deep ball to Willie Sneed. I think it was Willie Sneed again. Um, dropped it in the bucket. Willie Sneed runs off for a touchdown. We did get our first completion uh, from Trey Lance to Christian McCaffrey that we've seen. Um, Trey Lance uh, went through his progressions. CMC came breaking over the middle of the field and Trey was able to get it in. So it was a mixed bag, you know, like again, no one really stood out. I would say like really, like honestly, Brandon Allen, Sam Darnold, Trey Lance were all kind of in that same, same category, same tier. Um, definitely a, a step off from everyone from what they've done the last couple days. So again, like I said, the whole whole practice in general just was kind of down in regards to its intensity. So I don't know if that had any type of impact on uh, the overall play by the quarterbacks or whatever. Um, but again, uh, we, we've definitely had some better practices out here. But uh, I do, like I said, I do think the 49ers are ready to get out of here, quit hitting each other and get ready for joint practices. Nothing today at all would really indicate any, you know, uh, step forward for the quarterbacks, I would say. Um, <clears throat> uh, inconsistent um, for the most part. So uh, still feels like it's Brock Purdy's job. Doesn't feel like, you know, Brock is in any danger of losing that starting job. So Again, we'll see how it every, how everything plays out, um, but definitely a cooler day by the 49ers offense and the quarterbacks, and that's what I got.